These are the five most catastrophic AMAs in Reddit history, and coming in at number five is Morgan Freeman's, which nobody expected would become such a nightmare. It simply read, Hi, I am Morgan Freeman, and my new movie Oblivion is in theaters and IMAX April 19th. Ask me anything. Although given it was posted from an account called u slash Oblivion Movie, it was obvious that the post was nothing more than an advertisement, which irritated the audience immediately. The press agent vibe is strong with this one. This is almost definitely a market team. I mean, come on, the username is Oblivion Movie, only made worse when Morgan Freeman began to answer questions, missing no chance to insincerely promote the film. What is the best movie ever in your opinion? There are three in my opinion. The original Moulin Rouge, Anna, Life of Pi, and Oblivion, which was downvoted by over a hundred people. When asked a different question reading, I feel like you're more of a villain than usual in Oblivion, is that fair to say and is it fun to play the bad guy sometimes? Morgan Freeman ignored the question altogether and simply wrote see the movie, which would mark the first of many answers that didn't really make sense. If you could have had any role in a movie that went to a different actor, what would it be and why? I do not have a favourite actor. I have worked with the best in the business and don't pick favourites of that. Playing God is like falling off a log. There's nothing to follow but the script, which for obvious reasons confused the person who'd asked. Freeman was then questioned, you've played all sorts of contrasting roles, from a lowly prisoner to God himself. Which roles are easier? Which ones are more fun? To which he'd respond, they are all easy. The most fun are the ones that pay the most, which was then reinforced during another question reading, what kind of roles do you enjoy playing the most and favourite one yet, where he'd again respond with ones that pay. There's a good chance that these were simply poor attempts at comedy, but even then they were still more interesting than some of his other terrible responses. What has been your goal in life? To be in the movies. How do you prepare for the powerful roles you play in your films? I just learned the script. What's going out in public like for you? Like what do people ask you when they see you on the street? a chore, with his responses being so generic, people began to speculate on whether or not it was even him answering. Am I really the only person that doesn't think this is Morgan Freeman? His answers are short, undescriptive, sometimes inaccurate and full of grammatical errors. Plus he hasn't given any proof. I look through all the comments and I don't see anyone giving a shit. Am I really the only one here? Leading Morgan Freeman to prove that it was in fact him, by uploading a photo of him sleeping on a couch, with what seemed to have been a photoshopped piece of paper lying on his chest. This is is not proof. The photo looks incredibly photoshopped. There is no way this rudimentary image could act as any form of proof, while a YouTuber named Southern Graphics Guru uploaded a video titled, Morgan Freeman's Reddit AMA was a fraud proof, in which he'd state the following. It's photoshopped, and this ain't really Morgan Freeman, I can prove it. Alright, we'll invert it. Does that look like part of the same image? Look at all this stuff here, and then look at that. Look how different. Alright, so that's fake. The basic video received almost a million views, although it failed to convince those who had a more realistic approach. I think Reddit has always had an unwarranted high regard for Morgan Freeman, and now you would all prefer to call this a fake, than realise he's just boring, while another comment highlighted that Morgan Freeman was uninteresting in every interview he did. For example, The Guardian gave Morgan Freeman the nickname Mr. Monosyllabic, and explained Morgan Freeman doesn't want to talk about money, drugs, the war, his friend Colin Powell, or even his new movie. In in fact, he may be the most difficult subject our interviewer has ever come across, with the hysteria becoming so intense that the AMA admins had to intervene. That state this was set up by the publicity team from the film studio for Oblivion. We were told Morgan Freeman would be answering the questions for the AMA himself, with someone in the room typing what he said, and we believe this to be the case. This was then followed by an update at the bottom of the page reading, I have spoken to Mr. Freeman slash Oblivion's PR team, and they have stated in no uncertain terms that all of the answers in the AMA were his words, and that the picture was legitimate and not doctored, although it's not like this fixed what had already gone down. This was the most disappointing AMA I've ever seen. The person couldn't be more scripted and bland. Either Morgan Freeman is not who he thought he was, or this is a huge PR move which is ridiculously unnecessary, although at least Morgan Freeman escaped with some of his reputation left, as Steven Seagal's AMA damn near buried him. For a bit of context, Steven Seagal has been called the most hated man in Hollywood, and therefore doing an AMA was was a bit of a death wish. Seagal took the risk anyway with the goal of promoting a movie, although it seemed this person was much more fascinated by Seagal's upbringing. Hey there, I went to the same junior high school as you in Fullerton CA many years later. Heard some stories. The one I would like to ask you about is when your social studies teacher caught you stealing lunch money from a kid in a wheelchair, true I didn't make this up, while a different user wanted to know more about Seagal's filming process. Is it true you insist on blocking many scenes so you can be sitting the whole time because you're too lazy to stand up? Is 
it true you insist that productions hire someone to hold a car to properly shadow your horrific neck fat? Is it true you're an unbearable dick who bullies everyone on set and acts like you're an A-list star, even though you're starring in a shitty C-list movie? The comments continue to run through every controversy you can think of, although for obvious reasons he answered none of them, and instead provided brief answers to a couple of less popular questions, such as how many pets he has. Meanwhile, he was asked, how long did it take you to realize this was a mistake, with the answer being approximately 20 minutes, given he quote, answered 12 preschool level questions, then ran out of time. You simply shouldn't do an AMA without a tip-top public image, although it seems James Corden never got the memo. His AMA was posted with the goal of promoting carpool karaoke, although it instead did the exact opposite, as almost every single question completely massacred Corden's show. My brother's girlfriend played one of your videos on my YouTube account, and now it keeps recommending more of them to me. Do you know how to get it to stop doing that? James, are you aware that everyone thinks you're a hack and a talentless asshat? Have you ever considered being funny or likable, with these comments about his unlikability, then turning into paragraphs about him treating fans terribly? Hey James, you won't remember me, but me and my friends sat at a table next to you and Harry Styles, plus some others in Manchurian Legends in London's Chinatown about six years ago. We didn't bother you, but you're a massively entitled dick who yelled and treated white stuff like shit, and when one of my party politely suggested you calm down, you got really aggressive and threatening. So my question is this, why did Harry seem so cool while you were such a massive throbbing bellend? The comment received 10 times more upvotes than James Corden's original post, made worse when someone shared the comment to the Rare Insult subreddit, where it became one of the top posts of all time, gaining over 100,000 upvotes. With this in mind, it's no surprise that people began to question if he'd posted the AMA in the wrong subreddit, with the whole ordeal being so brutal that people who hadn't heard of James Corden previously had no hope of ever becoming a fan. Although at least he wasn't caught asking himself questions on alternate accounts, as is what happened in the case of Jared Leto. His AMA was so stupid you might lose up to 10 IQ points just by listening. However, like all others, it began with a single sentence reading, I am Jared Leto and on the 4th of July, I am filming a massive portrait of America. Ask me anything. Although as the questions began to roll in, some of the ones Jared replied to just felt a little too robotic. Happy 4th of July, Jared. I submitted my videos. How do you choose the videos to include in your project? Great question. We will choose the videos based on how compelling they are. Hello, Jared. When is your next album coming out? You will have some new music this year. People then began to notice that some of the accounts posing questions had been created only 20 hours prior, while another noticed that a different one was only 10 hours old and had posted a test comment in a subreddit for Jared Leto's band. A different user wrote, is every question here planted and answered by a PR person? I'll go ahead and answer that yes. And there was a reason behind why they were so confident. People decided to go through the post history of these potentially fake accounts and found a thread simply titled test post for new Reddit users in which the comments and Leto's replies had been planned out completely. This thread must be as embarrassing as the PR you had to do for Suicide Squad. This is glorious, you magnificent idiot. How dumb can you be? Well, apparently not as dumb as Woody Harrelson, whose AMA was so notably catastrophic, his picture is used for the thumbnail of AMA disasters. Woody did the AMA with the goal of promoting a new film called Rampart, yet with 9,200 comments and not a single upvote, it's obvious that things didn't quite go to plan, especially given this was the first question he decided to respond to. I swear this is allegedly a true story. I went to a high school in LA and you allegedly crashed our prom after party Universal Hilton. You allegedly ended up taking the virginity of a girl named Roseanne. You allegedly didn't call her afterwards. She allegedly cried a lot. Do you remember any of this and can confirm? Or have you allegedly been so knee deep in Hollywood pooty for so long that this qualifies as a mere blip? I'm allegedly not kidding, with Woody Harrelson then responding with, first off, it's not true, and second off, I don't want to answer questions about that. Let's focus on the film people. You said AMA, that means ask me anything. Not ask me anything with regards to this movie I'm pushing. This is not getting off to a very good start. From the second that Woody stated, let's focus on the film, people began to comment, this AMA is insulting. We're being treated as cogs. Celebrities using Reddit as just another marketing platform. IMO, everyone on Reddit should boycott Rampart, but that's just me. I'm Woody Harrelson, and I don't have time to deal with your questions, commoners. P.S. Watch my new movie. Reddit isn't a good venue to pitch your movie. It's a venue to pitch yourself, although Woody only continued to dig himself deeper. When a user wrote, should change this AMA to AMAAR, ask me anything about Rampart, Harrelson responded by stating, we gotta be, I consider my time valuable. And just like the Morgan Freeman AMA, Harrelson took every single 
chance to shamelessly promote the film? What has been your most difficult role to prepare for and why? This character in Rampart was the most difficult. Out of all the roles you played, which has been the most rewarding, most difficult, and most fun? Can I say Rampart? It really took over my life for a while. I wouldn't say fun is the operative word. To make matters worse, Woody gave the audience only 15 minutes of time, answering 15 questions in total, of which only two had more upvotes than downvotes. In the meantime, Rampart's director was doing his own AMA, where all of the top questions referenced the actor such as, has Woody lost his mind? You might want to do some damage control. You seem like a pretty normal down-to-earth guy, but Woody or his PR bimbo really screwed the pooch on this one. Might have cost you a lot of money due to lost fans, yet this isn't the only place that Woody Harrelson's AMA has been mentioned in. In fact, in every single AMA we've talked about in this video, there are comments referencing Rampart. It's a word snuck into every bad AMA as a callback and confirmation that whatever the person is reading is now officially a failure. However, that's not to say that Woody Harrelson meant for any of this to happen. When asked, did you know about Reddit before today, Woody responded by stating, I know Oren Moverman did an interview here. I did just learn about it, so I'm trying. With Woody's blindness to the platform and format, likely playing a role in accidentally producing the worst AMA of all time.